Embark on the remarkable journey of Phil Neal, a name synonymous with Liverpool FC's era of dominance and a stalwart of the England national team. Neil's footballing story is one of resilience, skill and an unparalleled commitment to the beautiful game, defining him as one of the most decorated players in English football history. His career, spanning over a decade at Liverpool, was marked by an impressive collection of domestic and European titles, underscoring his integral role in the team's golden years. Phil Neal's journey to football stardom began in the small town of Urchester, Northamptonshire, where he was born on February 20th, 1951. Growing up in a working-class family, Neil's early life was far removed from the glamour of professional football. Instead, it was rooted in the values of hard work, dedication, and a profound love for the game that was evident from a very young age. Football was a central part of Neil's life, not just as a pastime, but as a passion that was nurtured by his family's support and encouragement. From kicking a ball in the streets of Urchester to playing for his school team, Neil's talent was evident. His family environment, characterised by a strong work ethic and community spirit, played a crucial role in shaping his approach to life and football. Neil's father, a significant influence, instilled in him the importance of commitment and perseverance, qualities that would become hallmarks of Neil's career. Despite the lack of formal training facilities or high-level coaching in his early years, Neil's natural ability and determination saw him excel in local youth leagues. Phil Neal's early engagement with football was a humble yet determined beginning that laid the groundwork for his storied career. Starting at Wellingborough Town, Neal's football journey was characterised by the grassroots level of play, where raw talent meets the first taste of structured competition. His move to Northampton Town in 1967 marked a significant step up, placing him in a more competitive environment where his skills could be nurtured and tested against stronger opposition, during his tenure with Northampton Town, Neil made an impressive 187 appearances. Phil Neal's career at Liverpool FC is not just a story of individual success, but a chronicle of integral contributions to one of the most successful periods in the club's history. Neil's arrival at Liverpool from Northampton Town for £66,000 in 1974 marked the beginning of an era that would see him become the most decorated English footballer of his time. Under Bob Paisley's management, Neil's development was rapid and impactful, seeing him transition from a promising fullback to a key player in Liverpool's formidable squad. Neil's tenure at Liverpool coincided with the club's dominance in English and European football. His role in the team was pivotal, characterised by consistent performances, remarkable durability, and a knack for scoring crucial goals. Neil's ability to adapt and excel, initially filling in as a left-back before making the right-back position his own, showcased his versatility and technical skill, qualities that made him indispensable to the team. One of the most significant highlights of Neil's career came in 1977 when Liverpool clinched their first European Cup. Neil's performance in the final against Borussia Mönchengladbach, capped by his penalty goal, was a testament to his composure and skill under pressure. His contributions to Liverpool's subsequent European Cup victories in 1978, 1981 and 1984 further cemented his legacy as a European football stalwart. Notably, Neil was the only player to appear in all four of Liverpool's European Cup wins during the 1970s and 1980s, a remarkable achievement that speaks volumes about his importance to the team. In addition to his European successes, Neil was instrumental in Liverpool's domestic achievements. During his time at the club, Liverpool won eight First Division titles, four League Cups and five FA Charity Shields. Neil's consistency was unmatched, famously playing 366 consecutive league matches from December 1974 until September 1983, setting a club record and demonstrating his exceptional fitness and dedication to the game. Neil's departure from Liverpool in 1985 to join Bolton Wanderers as player-manager marked the end of an illustrious playing career at Anfield, but not the end of his influence in football. His career at Liverpool left an indelible mark on the club's history, with Neil's contributions during this golden era ensuring his place among the pantheon of Liverpool legends. His legacy is characterised not only by the numerous titles and accolades he helped the club achieve, but also by his professionalism, leadership and unwavering commitment to excellence on and off the pitch. 
Phil Neal's international career with the England national team stands as a significant chapter in his footballing journey, highlighting his prowess and consistency on the global stage. Neal earned his first cap for England in 1976, a recognition of his exceptional performances at the club level with Liverpool. Over the course of his international career, Neil amassed 50 caps. Neil's role in the England squad was characterised by the same diligence and defensive solidity he displayed at Liverpool, making him a key figure in England's campaigns during a competitive era for international football. His contributions were not limited to defence. Neil's ability to support the attack and his composure under pressure were assets that England utilised in various qualifying matches and international tournaments. One of Neil's most notable contributions to the England team came during the 1982 FIFA World Cup in Spain. His experience and leadership were invaluable to the squad in a tournament that saw England advance from the group stage without conceding a goal, demonstrating Neil's defensive acumen at the highest level of international competition. Although England's journey in the tournament ended in the second group stage, Neil's performances were a highlight, showcasing his ability to compete among the world's best. Phil Neal's transition into management began in December 1985 when he took on the role of player manager at Bolton Wanderers, embarking on a new chapter that would see him face different challenges and celebrate distinct achievements. His seven-year tenure at Bolton was a period of significant highs and lows for both Neal and the club. Under his leadership, Bolton Wanderers clinched the Football League trophy in 1989, a notable achievement that highlighted Neil's ability to inspire and guide his team to success. However, Neil's managerial career was not without its challenges. The club experienced the disappointment of relegation to the fourth division for the first time in their history under his guidance. Demonstrating resilience and a commitment to the club, Neil led Bolton back to the third division the following season. Despite reaching the third division playoffs in 1990 and 1991, Bolton failed to secure promotion on both occasions. The 1991 season was particularly heart-wrenching as Bolton missed out on automatic promotion to Grimsby Town on goal difference and subsequently lost to Tranmere Rovers in the playoff final. Neil's time at Bolton ended in May 1992, making way for Bruce Rioch, who would later achieve promotion with the club. Neil's journey in football management continued as he took the helm at Coventry City in October 1993. Despite a challenging start, Neil's Coventry enjoyed a mid-table finish in the Premier League, their highest since 1989. This stint included memorable victories, such as the 4-0 win over Manchester City. However, struggles in the 1994-95 season led to Neil's departure from Coventry in February 1995. Neil's managerial career further took him to Cardiff City in Division 3 and later to a brief spell as assistant manager at Manchester City. His time at Manchester City was marked by a quick transition to caretaker manager following Steve Coppel's resignation before Frank Clark's appointment. Neil's coaching journey also saw him joining Peterborough United as assistant manager to Barry Fry, although this tenure was cut short in March 1998. Beyond his managerial career, Neil's influence extended to punditry and commentary, where his analytical skills and comprehensive understanding of football allowed him to provide valuable insights into matches and player performances. His ability to articulate complex football tactics in a relatable manner made him a respected voice in football media, enriching the viewing experience for fans and offering a professional perspective on the beautiful game. Beyond the football pitch, Phil Neal's personal life is characterised by a strong foundation in family values and a commitment to community involvement. Neal, known for his discipline and professionalism on the field, applies the same principles to his life outside of football, prioritising his family and personal relationships. Married with children, Neil has always emphasised the importance of a balanced life, ensuring that despite the demands of his career, time with his family was never compromised. His role as a husband and father highlights a different aspect of his character, showcasing his nurturing and supportive side, which may not always be visible in the competitive arena of professional sports. Neil's interests beyond football include golf, a sport he enjoys both for relaxation and the opportunity to engage with friends and colleagues in a different setting. 
his involvement in charity events and community activities, often leveraging his status to support causes close to his heart, underscores his commitment to giving back to the community that supported him throughout his career. In recent years, Phil Neal has transitioned into the role of a football pundit, sharing his expertise and insights on the game through television and radio platforms. His analysis and commentary have allowed him to stay connected with the football community and continue to influence the sport from a new perspective. Neil has also ventured into writing, authoring two autobiographies, Attack from the Back in 1981 and Life at the Cop in 1986. These publications offer a glimpse into his remarkable career, detailing his experiences on and off the pitch and providing fans with an intimate look at the life of one of football's most enduring figures. Through his work in media and literature, Neil has been able to share his passion for football and his journey through the sport with a wider audience, further cementing his legacy in the world of football.